and I can take it because I might be right. All right, guys. Brap like Jones in here with a Honda parts replacement of the power steering, AC, and alternator belt. That's right. They're all right here on the driver's side of the car. And they are squeaking. So, the hardest part of this entire job is to adjust the bolt that is for that pulley in the middle above this mount beside the compressor clutch and the harmonic balancer. You have to get a socket that I'm going to show you to loosen that right there. Once you loosen that nut, this pivot point on the pulley will allow it to drop down further when you back that out. See that stops it from coming down. So you back it out so that you can get it to come down far enough to get this belt over the top of it and then once the belt is over top of it, you screw it back in to push it back up. A 12 millimeter, slightly extended mini wrench. Just get you a little extension, maybe about two inches, plus a long socket so that the bolt can slide up in there and you can get to the nut. And you're gonna come at it from the radiator side. Right here, you're gonna slide it over and get it to sit on that nut. And then the fun part is to crack it a loose, which you would need two hands for. So you're probably wondering, how do you turn that little bitty ratchet down in that tight area? With a wrench, of course. You just slide the wrench over the handle of the ratchet and then you have more leverage. But be sure to use your other hand and place it under the small wrench when you push down so that you don't just break the bolt off. Now the more you back this down, the lower the pulley will go. The size you need for the small bolt, once you crack loose 
the 12 millimeter nut is a 9 30 seconds. Once the nut is cracked loose, you really can just turn it back this out by hand. It's not that tight. Now that you've backed out that small 932nd bolt, you can slip your AC belt over top of the middle pulley and around your AC clutch and around your harmonic balancer. And it should do this fairly easily, fairly easy since you have loosened that pulley. Now you just Drive the pulley, the bolt back into the pulley bracket and make it rise back up to tension the belt. And then you put on your uh, power steering belt and pivot the power steering motor to tension that belt and you're done. After you get all three belts on, it should look something like this. everything nice and taut 